He may contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blows. Citrus in your fever, scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send our full stop? You start off with a motive for power, which is usually a weight or a spring. Now that power then has to drive a series of gears, so that at the other end of those series of gears we have we have a wheel that, that moves very quickly with little power and that drives the escape. So we've got motive power, then we have the gear train, a series of wheels, gearing the clock down. And then at the end of it, to stop the wheels just whizzing around quickly at time, literally flying around with the hands whizzing around the clock dial, we have an escape, which will only allow that wheel train to move at a given rate. Now that escape is usually controlled by either a balance wheel or, as most people know, a pendulum. The pendulum length will only swing at a certain given rate, so a longer pendulum will swing slower. A short pendulum will, will tip away quicker. So that checks, it releases one escape wheel at a time, the uh, two pallets, an entry and an exit, and that is what produces a sound, a tick and a top. Each swing of the pendulum produces a tick or a top. The power just keeps the pendulum going. The clock doesn't know what time to keep, that's the pendulum's job, because the length will only swing at a certain rate. So each tick and each top is a fragment of time. Soggy clothes and breeze blocks. Jamaline, just some fact that seen my love, my love, love, love. Please don't go. I love you so. My love. They go around the dial and that's what 